Hey, um, yeah, it's Alex from Blue Lightning Software. I think I've got one more, <clears throat> probably the last one. Uh, I, I'm, I'm getting kind of confident now with the job system. I've been fumbling my way into it for a couple of hours last, you know, since yesterday, just checking it out, trying this stuff uh, and making these streams to kind of, you know, it just helps me to, to get my ideas together and, and you know, it's, in, it's encouraging me to, you know, to go through it all and, and make sure it's working. Doing some tests to see what is working. Uh, the point we got to on the last one was uh, that the parallel job for that was working way better. There's something I should note. Um, I wasn't doing in the previous videos. I really should be doing this. All these um, kind of vectors, oh, they're not vectors, these native arrays, any permanent ones, persistent, i.e. A, I think it was bad that I um, not declared them, but I um, constructed them in, in just in like us news. I see it. Oh, where are they here? Where, where I had them all just equals new, uh, you know, in the object construction. Um, what I've done is I've put them here. I kind of got rid of vector B for the minutes. Uh, I might need that actually. See, they're created here, the persistent ones, the allocated persistent. Temp jobs dispose themselves. Okay, temp ones. So there's one here. Allocated dot temp job, temp or temp job technically uh, dispose of themselves when they're done. Um, so after the test is completed in job finish somewhere, let's search dispose because I'm getting really tired now. I'll have to stop. Um, Vector A dot dispose. Here we go. So we just make sure that that these um, native arrays are disposed of, and the job handles also because they are a native array that was persistent. So they all need um, disposing of. I'm not sure what the output was. Jobs finished. Blah blah blah. Job method. No, sorry, it was temp job. That's done. Okay, great. So the persistent ones are all disposed of, or you're going to get memory leaks. I've got rid of all the memory leak warnings I was getting previously. So I don't think it matters too much in the editor, but I, d I don't even. I'm not sure it's even safe there, and it probably would add up in a build or something. It's much better to just make sure you deal with those whenever you use them, whenever you kind of they go out of focus or what it, whatever you know before you lose all reference to them, uh, dispose of them. Well, wherever we did that, <laughs> I don't know why I'm there we go. Right, struggling to find the dispose. So what do we have in the moment? Uh, Complexio. The other thing is, all right, uh, I just noticed that I was always passing in arrays. You can actually pass in, uh, you can just set read only uh, parameters that are not arrays that are not native arrays okay you can create read-only float like this one so I could just add add vector yeah um, in the execute this is the I job parallel for that is better this is something I want to look at all right this is getting weirder parallel for transform that's the idea of this stream is that we're going to get to there. Um, we're trying to compare it to this, um, the V8. I mean, it was just miles quicker just for simple vector addition. I got burst on it and I'm using a float three. All right, so let's try and change this. I'll show you what I added to the GUI. It's getting more like GUI now, I added cubes. Let's have a look at cubes. Bang. Okay, cubes creates a load of cubes. They're just scattered in front of the camera. I, I haven't thought enough about the camera angles, but um, there we go. It just scatters them in front of the camera. There's a function. Uh, let's see it. 
spawn cubes, find all the cubes, the surrenders in the parent transform. That is just um, an empty game object. Destroy everything with the render eye, the cubes. Uh, spawn cubes uh, for the repeat number. Just random spawn, you know, random quaternion, random position. Set it in front of the camera. Could have thought a bit more about where they wind up, but never mind. Instantiate them into the parent transform with that position and quaternion rotation. So that's set there. Okay. So what we want to do, which gives us this funky. We want to do, I've done that with a thousand, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what the limit is. If I try 10,000, it may or this may freeze it up, but we'll do it anyway. Let's, uh, the difficulty is it, it makes you think about in a game, do you ever have 10,000 objects? Yeah, that's what it would look like. 10,000 is workable, okay. Maybe a hundred thousand is, but you can see how dense it's getting. That's a lot of objects, okay? And just keeping track of it and iterating it would uh, take time. Uh, so what I want to do is add like random movement to those. Make Complexio do something a bit more. Maybe we could just do it without an input array. Yeah. Just add a vector to all of them. So just shift them up or down, something like that. That would make sense. Um, where is add vector set? It's a very simple function. Dot one. I'm not even really thinking. So this is gonna shift everything up, right and away. Yeah. Add one to a vector. Um, so if we look at our parallel four job, can you see everything in this index of vector A? We need to set the vectors in vector A and then we get the output. What I want to measure in this is that, okay, say we take in, we, we A assign every transform of the cubes to this vector array, I position, purely position. We then add that up away and right you know the vector one and then we assign the output to here for each cube and then we put that into the transforms of the cubes yes yeah, so we take the transforms of cubes we just add one in this case could be anything i mean it could be a vector of movements or or anything but we're just going with the one vector up up right and away so um we're doing we're adding that to that. I mean, what we would need is to make sure that this complexio is similar. Um, in complex iterations, is another loop that it needs. It wasn't even doing previously, it was just way. Um, it was way slower, you know, it just was. I mean, once you get the parallel going on the jobs, on these simple tasks become really practical, I think. Which is just looking at now. Um, so this would make... Oh, vector 3, let's make vector 3v. A equals new vector 3. Yeah, um, no, we can't do that. It's hard, right? All right, so we would do this in the test. Let's do the start test. Uh, nothing test. This is a test where it doesn't do anything. Let me do it before the stopwatch. We'll say that this equals new vector three. I've completed what's going on, what's wrong with that? Oh, because we need the number of repeats in there. Repeat number here. Okay. Uh, um, there was a bit of an error here. V A N. Is it going to work now? 
and we need um, so this looks a bit scrambled oh, I'm just reusing these variables in a way I can understand so what we're saying is that v b equals um, n plus that add vector and in fact we'll um, this isn't going to make any difference to anything if I just do it as vector 3 1 there okay so we've got VB and we should define that in the same place we define VA wherever I put those the nothing test here so these should be like that okay So now it's basically uh, basically doing the same thing. If I can find it, I'm getting a bit lost in this code now. It's that time of day. I've got a light on. Uh, I'm awake. Where 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 is it? Um, it's complex here, right? Wow, that's messed up. What we saw there, Complexio, the way I was calling it. Because I've still got all the stuff for the task, which I haven't deleted. Um, so it's like it's a load of stuff that's not being used. Job method, nothing test. All right, stop doing this. Okay, because the repeat is now within this sum, yeah? That's covering the repeat, and these are the iterations of the repeat. This is now very much the same as this, what that's doing. Within that, it's the way this was called, if you followed in the other uh, video. The way index is applied within a parallel job to the, wherever you use it within it complex iteration um, no longer needs to exist like that uh, it was kind of me not getting what was going on uh, you can have a read um, you can set that as n complex iteration it didn't need to be in a native array at all I mean it could be interestingly <laughs> if you wanted to set it as that but um, and then we don't need this. Oh, that just doesn't need to exist anymore. That was a bit of a waste of time, that one. I do need that variable, so I'll just grab it while it's there. And then we set that there. That no longer exists to be disposed of. Okay, so that's, you know, just confusing stuff as well. The add vector, vector one is set there. That's how many iterations it's using its job. It just sets that there. Uh, it won't actually, well, it will work and run, I imagine. Um, but we've not set it to the transforms of the cubes. We don't actually need cubes to make this work right now. This is just, get it running. Is it? Nothing is not actually working at the moment. <laughs> oh no. Nothing is starting to work. Nothing's taking time. Can I get a millisecond out of this? Not unless I make it really complicated. Okay. Yeah, all right, calls is non-existent now. Look at that, that maybe won't run. I shouldn't have even pressed that. Oh yeah, no, 998. Okay, a thousand times, no, a hundred times more than the parallel jobs. Because that's just one call. I, I also tidied up the finish of the jobs. 
So let's look at job finished. Uh, complete. You just need because there's only one. Technically, the, we don't need a job handles array anymore. All right, the way that this is running, this this could go in the bin as well. If you want to avoid, can it? Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Job handles. Where was that? Let's see if this works. So I can just have a because it's all bundled into one job now. A tube. No longer required. Um, no longer needed. Yeah, that was exactly the same match with just one job as doing job handle complete or job handle complete. It's the one parallel job can contains all information now. That was really useful if you had created a native array of jobs that you weren't doing in parallel. So, um, let's have a look at, not doing that yet. Okay, that should all make sense. It appeared to be running, but we needed quite a mad amount. That was interesting. What was interesting about that was only to get the jobs to register. So we can run off a minimal level of work that it takes to get. Did that? Did that? That wasn't stopped when I pressed that. So it didn't recompile. This is stopped. Interested to see how hard uh, this is to work out. What well, what we've got now is uh, we we got up to ten thousand. We're happy with ten thousand cubes. We're going to use ten thousand iterations, and we're going to do a hundred. So nothing that takes nine milliseconds. Okay, ten thousand objects. Right, doing a hundred. This is quite interesting. This is how much work it needs to register a hundred uh, vector movements. Um, Complexio is doing the same thing. It is loading up an output with all of these numbers. Okay, so what we want to do now is load a transform array Um, load cubes right, the annoying thing is okay um, if I did it like this I, I can't remember how to ignore its own self <laughs> Transform with a parent right now, so there probably is a way to do this quicker. Um, what am I looking for? That stuff with the cubes. Where was cubes? They're next door to cubes. That'll make sense. Small cubes, low cubes. Uh, repeating code. Okay. X oh, it has sense. Okay. Transforms L dot equals because you render or object. So it would just be Objects, um, L. Whoops, it did write it for me. Can't yeah. Okay, and then a 
Okay. So we got the transforms in uh, an array. I'm going to leave this so that you actually have to. I'm so lazy, honestly. I'll be quicker off just writing this. Let's write it. Um, equals slow cubes. Okay, and now you get done stuff like that, aren't you? Know? For each um, VA is the end, right? VA, dang, I'm so thick. Oh. Because we need a, a index. way to do that I'm just stupid really it's very late in the day for me getting tired now um, transforms dot I um, dot position yeah, that's what we wanted yeah, there we go it's getting a bit slow here we go then these positions are now in the into VA This is what I need to do for the um, for the jobs. I don't actually. The thing is, I don't need to do this for. What I can do is create. And there will be a quick way to do it as well. Is um, it wasn't load cubes either, was it? Was it? Right, load cubes is um, uh, could just be called here. All right, there's um, that's void. It's probably a quick way to do this if you've got five seconds to actually look at what's going on. Spawn cube, yeah, spawn cube. Why even have that? So if transforms is created somewhere, it, it, when, the, when it spawns cubes, it loads up transforms with the cube transforms. Okay. So back to where we were. Uh, we don't need that anymore. I tell you, we don't need this. 
we don't need to load that up. We don't even need VA at this point, okay? Because we're going to the nothing test using Complexio. If we find Complexio, where is it? Um, uh, uh, wow, gone blind. Where is it? Where's Complexio got to? Uh, what we're saying is that we actually don't need these arrays. All right, we just do transforms in. Hold on, we probably need a reference to this. We probably do need a bit of stuff here. say position plus equals what to do it and we say transforms position equals position that's what we need to do in the um, that version just showing how this exact same task of adding this to the transform it be Quicker access to the transforms there. Um, is that going to work? Let's just check it because um, let's see if it worked up to that point. We're going to create the cubes, cubes. Otherwise, you press down it'll error because we, we're not checking that there are no cubes. Oh my god, we created a dodgy leak as well. What happened? We didn't start it. I'm not sure where the dodgy leak is. Cubes and then nothing. Okay, that's quite a lot. Because it's querying the transform and that's taking a bit of time. Yeah. Just for the transform queries, they're getting the set on the transform, let alone the uh, addition of vector one. What's leaking now? Um, Definitely don't need that. We don't need that right now. We don't need that. All right. It don't exist. We got this. None of that. Job handles don't exist anymore. Where are the native arrays? Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what do we have? Um, um, what's the plot? Do these need? You don't need to dispose of these. They're basic types. Only the native arrays output. I did I what? We just leave it leaking. Did it create cubes? It created cubes and we pressed nothing and that was working. They totally flew out of the space. <laughs> Where did they all go? Because, um, right, where are they? What happened? 
up into the cube that they, they move more than they're supposed to. understand what's happening to these cubes. We've got this cube, right? Look at these numbers. These, these is just supposed to be going up one. One thousand. It did the same cube. Oh wow, what, what happened? It did all cubes. Oh, because it was the number of elevations. Wow. Right, so it becomes visualizable. Uh, I'm going to create a constant. Um, frag move vector equals times point zero 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 one f. Right, so we can we we should be able to see that. Is that constable? No, probably not. It's read only. Or is it static read only? It makes it a bit like a. Okay, this should help us see it. It might have been mid. Um, do, I, do I still have a leak? Yeah, I'm alright. No leaks there, mate. Okay, press play. Let's have a look. Uh, can we see the move? Barely. That's a bit o OT. Because there's no iterations. Can you see the magic? Every time I press this, you can see them moving now. So it's like a visual clue that it's working. I maybe overdid that. I'm having to click it quite a bit to see the move. But it is doing it. Great. So I'll make it this. So every move is one thousandth, yeah? That'd be really obvious. I, these aren't used anymore, are they? When did I, then I reference, I probably created them. So to do this in the job, in the parallel job, right, this is one way of doing it. This is to say that we load up Complexio job, uh, we load up the vector A, uh, and then add vector is set to that const. Um, well, no, it's going to be a float three version for this. So, what are we doing? In the job method, we need to create vector A. What was it set to, vector A? Um, top 
position. So that actually works because vector A is a float three. These convert really nicely. I've noticed this, all right? Uh, vector threes just convert to these float threes. Don't need a conversion, it's automatic. I think there's no cast time, very little. Um, so it does this job method. Now the difficulty is only after the job's finished, after this, can we then say, that we're gonna read output. Does it work the other way around? Can we spell output? Will that put those float three? Does not exist in the current context. It doesn't exist anywhere, does it? Um, gosh. This is difficult. I've not actually done that. I've not read the output of one of these jobs yet. That's dumb, isn't it? Um, to learn how to do that. Um, let's go to jobs finished again. Is uh, the position jobs handle complete? Have to use this. C sharp um, jobs handle output. Oh, is it? Uh, where is it? Um, well, I should have read the book. The output then. <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't like this manual search, it's rubbish. It, I can't find anything using that. Um. So it's just reading it like that. It's that simple. It's sorry. It would just be this. I think I've not actually done that yet. Is it not liking that? I need the actual job. That's what I need. Um, yeah, I need the original job. Does job handle not have its job? No, that's so dumb. Maybe, maybe there is a way to do this. Oh, sorry, this is a bit slow and I, um, God, I don't even know the type, that's going to be a raw then, still doesn't like it, can't be a raw there, this is killing me, what, what is a job?
This is sad, you know, I can't find the, um, the job from a job handle. How to get the associated job from a job handle? Oh, keep a reference. Oh, just use the native array. Well done, whoever came out with that. Because the native array, of course. Who oh, tried to write that nonsense? So wherever we set that, there's um, a, a output was set somewhere in the job method, of course. This output. So hopefully we just make that there. And now we can find it. All right, so that's just gonna work now. That was a pain, sorry about that. I think that might work, we'll, we'll just try that. Hopefully it didn't, I mean, cause that was a temp job. Um, Oh, right, it's not completely destroyed at that point. Do you see what I mean? When it, whenever that was disposed of, um, who knows? Who knows when that was disposed of? I'm not sure I've set this up at all properly either. There was a couple of things that needed doing. There was the vector, add vector. Let's not, was set somewhere. Add vector equals vector one. No, it's vector one times point zero zero one f is it doing that for the whole job yeah in, in one go that be that so taking so long I'm not sure I'll get to the next one I might leave that for a separate video I might stream that later where we use the parallel transform if we can figure that out oh there are no cubes and it blew up whoops <laughs> I did an old test for these cubes you know, there's no cubes don't do anything you gotta press cubes so you got some cubes and nothing will work. Increase it till there's some work. Yeah, and that's what Jobs does with it. Wow. Jobs, can you see them move though? No. No. They're not moving. They're with nothing. They're not moving. Okay. So now we've got to get the job to work. Because, um... Job finished. At least it didn't, it showed that that existed, output I existed because it didn't put them to an error here. Do you see what I mean? So something happened within the job, add vector, you know what it should be also why well, it's not showing it um, because it should be that but it's read only oh what a pain so it should be oh because 
this go, this looping itself. So it's only kind of technically doing it once because we use this intermediate variable thing and then set it there so it moved like a micron. Um, hold on, it should be test three equals vector A index there. And then you can probably do plus equals add vector there. This should do it. Right. Let's just check that. I might have to, uh, might have to leave it um, for the next time to do that other way. You can see this absolutely killing nothing, I think. Just on the time that it took to do that, it's still, even with this conversion, backwards and forwards, it's just destroying it on it, on it. But it's an amount of, um, once you've read the transform, let's describe it. I mean, if I did it in one iteration, it'd be negligible, but let's see nothing, no cubes. <laughs> oh, I knew because it was me. If I didn't put an old check in for the cubes, I'd do it at least twice. Let's see it. Again, let's press Q straight away. Let's go a hundred times and let's press jobs. Could you see the move? Yes, the jobs are moving them, see? You see it's all moving. So we've got proof, absolute proof that jobs is destroying that. What that is, a hundred additions. Now think about this. 16 milliseconds is quite a long time. If you added that to a frame, that sounds exactly like, I think it's 60 frames per second. So if you were running at 60 frames per second, you're going to drop down, it's going to double you. You know, it's quite an amount, it's, it's a fair amount. It would take you from 60 down to 30 frames per second. If you took a thousand objects and performed a hundred uh, simple vector additions to them, you, you would halve a 60 frame rate. That's quite a bit. And the good thing is the jobs are at zero. The jobs are taking no time to do that. It's incredible. I'm really impressed with um, just just having I'm glad I did this work um, myself because I, I want I wanted to get good with jobs. And um, see that's moving them quite a lot. It's still on zero. Is that timing correct? Really? Jobs take zero time? Yeah, no, you got to be kidding me. I can see why certain libraries use this. The difference is a joke. That's going to take ages and come out for, well, 1.5 seconds. Let's reset the cubes. 1.5 seconds to make that move. That's 10,000... Uh, vector additions on a thousand objects takes it 1.6 seconds. It'd be impossible to do that. I mean, obviously, that takes one millisecond. Does that sound right? But you can see it working. That took seven milliseconds. That will take it forever. That will take it 16 seconds. And they'll fly off the screen. Have to wait 16 seconds ish. <laughs> We'll see it soon. I hope. Yeah, 16.061. That's incredible. That's impossible. I haven't got the timing right, but it, it, you can see it there doing it, you know. It's amazing. For that kind of math and, and resetting it back into the transforms we can see in the object it's not using entities this is when the game object space we've converted back to game objects done all that math again wow yeah that's incredible oh yeah it's like it's got to wait 16 seconds so complexity old job that was the basic way I want to look at this in a next video. I'll probably check it myself because there's some weird stuff that went on about this with the parent transform that I'll check possibly in another video or I'll do it again if it if it makes sense to add. I'll do another video of this if it looks interesting. But that's that's interesting enough for me. That's incredible. Can you believe it? 
that. The difference is 7 milliseconds and 18 seconds. Is the timing right? I think it is. I think it's doing what we think it's doing. Where's the... Oh, is it? <laughs> Where did it start the stopwatch? At the start of the jobs test. It loads those up. It calls that. It gets the elapsed time there. It completes. It puts it all back. It takes the time. And that's the time. It's because this kind of thing... Uh, the, the transforms back and in and out is actually, you know, putting the position in and out of the transfer like that. It's taking it three milliseconds. I feel like checking the numbers like ten times. It's definitely gone through that iterated, so putting that tiny vector definitely that number of times and it came out taking hardly any time. I mean, it's these will fly off the screen now, but yeah, and it's linearly that. Well, I don't want to press it. It'll take 180 seconds to do that the old fashioned way. That's made a million vector additions, vector three additions on a thousand objects. And it only took it 68 milliseconds. That would throw your frame rate. Yeah. You'd be dumb to do that, but it shows it's working even a hundred seven milliseconds you know within within a frame space you can do a hundred thousand vector additions in a jobs using this kind of methodology that's that's amazing okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there now it's got some things to do and uh yeah maybe report back if that um the other one i was looking at the I job parallel for transform if it's to see if that we I don't see how we're going to improve that much but if it does you know because that's designed to deal specifically with transforms but that kind of transformation we we achieved I, I don't see the point of using this unless it's miles easier and or more efficient if it's got issues then I probably would just use what we've just done all right thanks for watching